What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beat Dan, I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Welcome to a brand new episode of The Danger. <laughs> The Danger Room. This is where I take a hero into combat and see how well their abilities stack up in the heat of battle. Today, we're having a look at another Spec Ops lockbo lockbox hero, I guess. And of Asgardian descent, I believe? It's the fucking Enchantress. So again, much like the Destroyer, she doesn't have anything on her because frankly, I don't use her enough. She got to level 9 and then she stopped being useful. Much like how these two are gonna be. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so yeah. We're gonna be taking her into the heat of combat. And the heat of combat, I mean some random ass battle where I can throw her against two people. And just go, yeah, this fight looks good. And then hope she fends for herself. Because she's kind of fragile. Just a little bit. She's an infiltrator, of course she's fragile. Anyways, we'll be fighting two bruisers, because that'll be fun. Also, not in any way, like, bad for my health, because I kept trying to find a fight for her to do, and it's like, okay, this one, God damn it, scrappers. Fuck. Fuck. And that was just me finding a shit ton of scrappers. Anyway, so for this battle, she's gonna be going in blind by her, well, she's not going in blind. <laughs> we just... <laughs> We just draw, we start drawing on like a blindfold onto the character. It's like, okay, you're going in blind. You know this does nothing against me, right? Shut up! Alright, defibrillate first. Motherfucker! Not two seconds in and she got stunned! <laughs> Thank you, attack the agent. That's what you're there for. Okay, so. Basically, each turn she can uh, gain Magic Missile, which is always a good place to blow off steam on some enemies. So, but first things first, before we do that, we need to set up our ability. So, apply Charm to this man, because, I don't know, because Charm will set up the first part, and then we use a lowering voice on the other one. Because that's how it'll work. Now, we don't want to attack the wrong ones. That would be a bad idea. The guy who is uh, charmed, we can't attack him because he loses his charm after he's taken damage. So we pelt the other one with magic missiles. And basically just stack him with debuffs until he dies. Well, not really, but... <laughs> That's my kind of game plan. And since he's, uh, since uh, that procced, I believe it's... Yeah, smitten. Yeah, smitten. Yeah, counterattacks allies who are charmed. Scour and faith. Okay. But since he's taken damage, he lost his ability. But luckily, this guy has a 50% chance to ch uh, chance to protect enemies from allies' single target attacks removed after triggering. So we might be seeing it again. Uh, the main point of the Enchantress is she gains those uh, magic missile charges every time and every time an enemy attacks their ally. So, as you can see, I've already got three. Which we're going to keep slamming into this guy. Just gonna keep slamming it like a dirty whore. And we'll use our last one on this guy. Finally, with uh, consecutive enough debuffs, which this probably isn't enough, we can go ahead and fire the Emerald Wave, which exploits all of it! And boom! They almost killed him. But that's basically her combo in a nutshell. Um, you know, I'm, I think she might gain that it might also exploit her charmed and everything, but I didn't think about using that, and I was running low on stamina. But that that's all fine. So for when it comes to comboing with her, an obvious idea, if your main focus around that team is to get the enemies to hit one another. Uh, Phantom X works for this purpose to a degree. Um, another good one, however, and sort of ironic in a sense, is why not another, why not another Asgardian? Also a good comic book team up is of course, Loki. Due to the fact that Loki just fucks with the battlefield anyways. But, uh, the, the problem with this is that they don't, uh, that... Basically, the main damage dealing is either coming from your agent or from the Enchantress, so... Yeah. Watch out for that. 
may have gotten deep thought, but that is perfectly fine. Because with all of them disoriented, well, nothing else they can really do. Loki needs stamina. Bad. There we go. Recharge on the agent. We'll see how well these go over. And next. Charm this fool. A lowering voice, this one. And then attack this guy. Like twice. And now let's see the beauty of our powers go into play, hopefully. If this guy ever gets done, like, dying. And yes, there we go. There goes the... <laughs> there goes everything into the thing. And also, since they all have some nice debuffs, Loki can immediately get rid of all of those, too. Loki's a jackass like that. He's kind of a dick. But that just means more stacks for uh, Enchantress to basically benefit from. So that guy is charmed as well. So we'll go ahead and charm this one. And disorient this one. Because certainly why not? And I'm thinking one extra magic missile on this guy would cause enough debuffs. And unfortunately, I am lacking in stamina, so I need just a little bit more stamina to finish this off. And by that, I mean a quantum elixir. Because free turns, who doesn't like free turns? And then, with enough debuffs on all of them, I can just go ahead and waste them all! Much like that. There you go, debuffs is the name of the game. Better than the lie smith himself to do so. And that's really all there is to it. Basically, just plow them with magic missiles, get them to hurt each other, and that's it. And that's really all there is to say about this one. So, until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta! Danger Room! Simulation over!